How are you guys doing? Norbs here from Dub Turbo, doing a troubleshooting video and a quick update for everybody that bought Dub Turbo, hoping this is the ultimate tool just for and only for dubstep music. And then you go in there and there aren't too many dubstep sounds. So a little bit of good news and a little bit of background. Uh, we didn't name Dub Turbo when we first started this in 08, late 07. Uh, we didn't name Dub Turbo because dubstep was blowing up and we wanted to go exploit that part of the industry. In my generation, I'm 33, so in our generation, dub means so many more things, specifically dub plates. Back in our days, we had dub plates, which are quick 50 play, 100 play max records that you would press. Um, and that was called a dub. You know, you could only hear that 50 times. So you were selective with when you played it and whatnot at gigs. And uh, dub also means to record and dub means other things. So yeah, we didn't name it dub turbo for the sake of dubstep music blowing up. But now that it has, and now that we are in this position and everyone's like, huh, where's the dubstep samples? Um, we've actually gone ahead and made dubstep samples and partnered with somebody that has given us licenses to and will be providing more samples for you guys. Those of you that have bought in your members area in the resources section, you'll now find a zip file with 12 new folders that each have 10 sounds in them that are importable into Dub Turbo as kits and they are specifically made for dubstep. Wobbles, wub wubs, bass drops, scissors, dentist's tools, shears, just unbelievable sounds and they last one bar, half bar, quarter bar each so you can get amazing strings out of them and they're built to be made uh, at 140 BPM well right around there but if you set it to 140 then you'll be lined up perfectly with the longer samples and there's some two and four bar samples that come with it too so what are we gonna do here we're gonna address some of the quick issues a lot of the new users are having even older users and I'm seeing in the comments you guys are troubleshooting yourselves which is awesome to see and instead of doing a ton of customer support emails I'm gonna knock out a couple of quick most common problems one is people are like I can't do what you do on the screen when I draw a bar in I only see 16 slots not 32 uh, oh wait actually I'm at four bars right now let me go back when you guys first opened up turbo you're at two and here's what you see and you're like I can't seem to draw all the way past this part like you do on your screen so I'm stuck with one bar and then when I go to edit I don't see what you see I see much less spots to drop my notes in I notice on your videos you're going right to the end I can't do that so here's why and here's how to get around it uh, one, you're either your screen resolution is too small and you're already at the edge of your computer. You can't get past that part right there. Um, two, I don't know. There's too many other small variations and variables. Your screen size, your your res. Um, but the quickest way to get around it, and people are trying to tell everybody, just drag it off your screen, just drag it off your screen, and some people can't. Just set your bar count to four before you do anything else. This is all math, guys. When you're doing beats and whatnot, everything breaks down into fours, eights, sixteens, thirty-twos, and then triples and quadruples and all that. But set it to four and then draw halfway. Now you're at two bars. If you draw all the way, now you're at four bars. If you can't draw all the way, you're at three bars. And if you do draw four and then press edit, you'll notice you have a ton of spots. And now it gets a little confusing for those that haven't built beats before. And even those that haven't, even me, after 15 years of this stuff, I still would rather draw in blocks of two because it's just easier to then change, edit, drag around, work with. So um, that's how you very quickly and easily get around this problem. And you don't need to do much more than that other than uh, if you wanna not have to do that, change your screen resolution to be higher. If that doesn't work, then that's what you're gonna have to do. But another thing I'll quickly mention is the Mac users that are on the landscape, very widescreen laptops um, are already at their top resolution and the top of Dub Turbo and the bottom of Dub Turbo gets cut off. Man, I'm really sorry for you guys. We really, really, really do apologize and no problem giving you a refund. We should have designed the app to be a bit more landscape aimed. And we really thought we would have accommodated even those widescreen laptops that are Mac and that are a little smaller vertically than most others. But it doesn't. It seems to cut off this bottom bit and you guys can't get access to these up here because it gets cut off there. So uh, apologies. I don't really have advice for you guys other than we'll be happy to give you guys a refund. Or if you can get a higher screen resolution, um, try that. Because unfortunately, these, this app isn't draggable to be resized, uh, which is something we'll have to consider. And for the next version, we'll simply make it a little bit less vertical and more horizontal for you guys so it fits in all screens okay next um, concern is a lot of people can't export because they've laid 150 bars all 16 layers are being used there's samples everywhere and it gets about halfway and it chokes on you it just stops yes that does happen and that was a part of our troubleshooting sessions as well and I couldn't figure it out even um, here because it was capping me out at a certain point too and if you go into the members area there's or even on Google there's areas that'll show you how to tweak your computer to be rich media friendly and somewhere along the way in those tweaks 
I remember changing the virtual memory settings. I remember assigning more memory to apps. And it's, it gets a little bit advanced if you're not comfortable with it. Get someone to help you. And once I did that, um, I can't cap this out now. I can do, go up to 199 bars. I can fill out all 16 tracks. I can make the notes very, the patterns very extensive within all the uh, drum patterns and the rest of the samples being combined. And I can't seem to cap it out. So that did it for me. And I believe that's what everybody else has to do. But if that still doesn't work, another thing I could recommend you do is mute half of your channels or more if you have to, export, then reverse it, export those other layers, and then import them into Audacity, Wavasaur, or any other free editor, and just mix the two together, overlap them. They'll be timed the same. You won't have to guess around what goes where. Just mix them from start point to end point on both uh, WAV files, and you'll have your final. So that's how to quickly get around that. The next thing I want to talk about real quick is some of you guys can't import samples into Dub Turbo. Despite you trying your best efforts, um, you can't parse, or unfortunately, we built this for Mac, uh, for PCs, so Macs can't run the EXCs and they can't parse. So typically, you'd have new samples, or like the ones we're giving you guys in the members area now, the dubstep ones. You're going to unzip that file. There'll be 12 folders. You'll grab all those folders, and you'll just dump them in here. I already have, so they're called the ZZ-Wobbles. And you'll have um, dump them in here. You'll go up a layer. You'll double click on parse drums and a new icon will pop up here. And that icon, why don't I just do this once? This is what's supposed to happen. Oops. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to go up a level, go into data this time. You'll notice there's already a drums one here. I'm going to overwrite that because I added new drums. So it has to know that there's new wobbles in there and boom. Now my when I launch Dub Turbo again, that's going to get read and my new samples will show up. So some people can't do this part. What you can try to do is run in Windows as administrator. If you don't run as admin, some permissions get denied and you won't be able to, I guess, do this, this part of it. Some people just can't. So uh, if that doesn't work, what you can do is also rename these files. I mean, there's 12 folders, so it might be a bit of a bitch. Apologies in advance, but you can grab, don't, don't paste the folders in here. If you notice once it doesn't work and you have to revert to the older files, simply open up one of these that you're not too fond of anyway. Let's say crunk one there. You're like, yeah, these kits are all right, but I want the new wobbles really badly. You could import the wobbles into here and simply name them these names and get rid of these files. So you can just select all these, move them somewhere for now, bring the new ones in here and name them what these are. And all you're really doing is replacing the file. As long as the names are the same, it will read them properly. And so you're simply replacing files instead of importing files. A little bit of a workaround, but if you really want to use samples and you really want to use these wobbles or any other samples you've made, 16-bit, 44-1 stereo WAV files, and you can make your own kits and replace them if you can't import. I think those are the top three things that we get emailed about. So I'll leave it there, and I'll just quickly show you guys what I meant by us finally making dubstep samples for you guys to play with. Drawing in two bars. I'm opening it. I'm going to my second category here, going down to the wobbles. I'm on wobble three already. I've been playing with these, trying to figure out what's what, and they're really beautiful. When it's labeled bar, you have the names there and there. Bar, 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 and then half, 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 and then court, court, court. So bar means full bar. We drew in two bars here. So if I click and place one bar, that's going to last up to here. And I'm going to have to place another one about here. And those will make sense when you go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Um, they're lined up perfectly to make sense with that. And then on the next two, we'll have halves and quarters, just so you guys understand what's happening here. So here I'll have... Ooh, I like that. Do, 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 do. So we'll have half, one, two, that'll cover. And then another half here. And then we'll do quartz. Make it a little bit offset there. Okay, and this will sound funny because there's no drums yet, but. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just quickly add some drums, dubstep type patterns. Might not be the best kits for it yet, but. You guys can play with what kits sound great with dubstep. We'll just try some house because house tends to have nice hard kicks and nice hard snares. Try this one. Mm. 
not really fond of this kit. Let's try this next one. Okay, not too bad. over and then just take out that crash on the second one and now what I'll do is just copy these drums down I'll have two layers of drums so I hold down shift click hold and drag downwards hold down shift click hold and drag downwards and then I'll change this to oh, hip-hop 5 let's see what this sounds like actually nice okay we'll use this and here we'll have a whole bunch of stuff going on that's faster all right and then we'll do the same thing just copy that back over because we added to it and then just get rid of this first guy Wobbles are made quite loud, so you'll have to just adjust some of the volumes here and there. And let's go. Nice. I'm actually going to fix that offset. I think this should be set properly. And then if you don't like these wobbles or want to change up, um, you could simply just, even as it's playing, you can preview the others. When it loops back around, that's when it'll read the new one while you're playing. So let's... Yeah, so you can get really creative. I'm not going to preview all the sounds for you guys, but bars, halves, and quarters. And again, 20, 120 sounds. You guys can get really creative with them. We'll have more for you guys to download as well. So there you go, guys. Enjoy. Go to the members area, grab the new wobbles, import them, or replace the sounds, and you finally have wicked dubstep that you can make remix recreate and then just tie in a whole bunch of really cool segments of the, the dubstep type samples together in cool creative formats and then psh, you're flying you're doing your dubstep thing and lastly before i forget um not too many of you guys know i guess that are buying dub turbo or or you forget or you get too caught up in making the beats we have a five thousand dollar producer contest and we were supposed to announce winners once a month however submissions have been extremely slow so I'd like to throw this into the video as well. When you guys get these new wobbles, or even if you're making beats with the VSTs or including other tools that are not by Dub Turbo, as long as you incorporate at least one or two of our VSTs, or if you're making beats with our standalone, then um, using our samples, I guess, within the standalone, showing what you can do with Dub Turbo. And we're going to choose, I guess, nine phases instead of months. I wanted to wait until we have 10 submissions to choose the first winner. So far, we have two or three. So we'd really love, don't be intimidated. Don't think that you're not good enough. Don't think your beat's not good enough. Um... I would love to see you guys submit whatever it is you make. We're using screen capture software and simply recording what we do on the screen. If you can't do that, simply export your beat and get a screen capture, I guess, simple a simple screen cap, um, print screen and paste into Word or into whatever editor you use and lay your beat over that one graphic, I guess, and you can submit that. So we just want to hear, and we'll be, we'll be able to tell. We know the, the um, kits well enough that we can tell whether you're using our kits or not. Uh, whether you've used Dub Turbo or not to make that sound. So, please do submit. Go to the actual Dub Turbo channel, which is youtube.com slash Dub Turbo Beats. Go th scroll through the last 10 or 15 videos. Among them, you'll see Dub Turbo Contest $5,000 now open. And go to it. Create your video. Get it ready. Upload to YouTube. Name your video. 
with Dub Triple Contest Entry dash your name like these guys have here. And then when you go to respond, all you do is click in the actual response area. And once you do that, you'll see this create a video response pop up. This boggled me for a long time because there's no button for it until you actually click in here. Once you click in here, you see a create a video response. Once you click that, you can choose which video out of your library you want to assign to this. Sorry for that. And uh, it's on auto, so it'll automatically accept your video. I don't have to approve it. Um, we're hoping we don't get no stupid people submitting silly stuff because it's on auto, but there it is. So I hope you guys submit your stuff. Don't be shy, and I look forward to the submissions. It's 5000 bucks on the line, or 500 a month, and then the last month, eighth month, we're going to do 1000 bucks for the final winner. That can be the previous winners or a new, new entry. Uh, everyone's allowed to resubmit once it's down to the final month. All right. Peace out, guys. Thank <laughs> you.